Okay, I have to show you this. I pushed the button, I called this elevator, and it made the noise and said it's at the top. There's nothing there until I do this. Now, it, it, is it there? Is it, is it not? I'm standing... What, I'm standing on... Nothing. There's... No control button <laughs> to do anything with it. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. Yes. Uh, say those little words that will make me walk on air. The game is glitching. <laughs> oh, well, let's. Yeah, and I can't follow it because it's already here. Supposed to hit control right here. In the corner. This is too funny. This is way just. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, I am going to have to exit out of the game. Start right here. This is. Yeah, there's the control right there. Some boxes I ran into, but apparently they're all ghosts. Alrighty. So, why just play one game at a time? This is Medal of Honor Airborne. You've seen me play several of the other Medal of Honor games, if you were around in the olden days. I didn't get around to doing this one. And this one is my favorite of the whole bunch. Why? Well, I would hope it's obvious, because of the parachute jumping. There's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with that. And uh, there's special targets you can try to hit. We'll talk about those as they come up. But uh, overall, it's just a really good game. Now, fair warning, I'm going to get really, really angry at the AIs in this game. Because Rainbow Six Vegas has spoiled me. Michael and Jung, Gabe and Khan, all of those guys are intelligent. They know how to stay out of my way and all that good stuff. These AIs, you have no control over them. And uh, they run around like water bugs on a pond. So uh, be prepared for that. I like to play on the easiest difficulty because, well, as you know, I'm really bad at this. So here we go. This guy's going to tell us something crazy. Jumping out of an airplane is one of the safest things a man can do, provided he follows proper procedure. When the red light goes green, you jump. Follow the man in front of you. Don't stop. Don't think. Go, 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 go! And down we go. We're heading for that green smoke there. Now, one of the weird things is these get rated. These jumps do. If you're headed for a bind, you can manipulate the rise to steer away from And I landed almost right on that green smoke. Look for green smoke. You know why we look for green smoke? Because it's proper procedure. And usually I only get 40 out of 50. Now we got some different targets. Rookies and civilians botch their landings. You're not a rookie, are you? Layering your chute will allow you to survey the Over here, we're supposed to land on this runway here. If you're heading toward danger, adjust your incoming trajectory to attempt to grease the landing. You'll be battle ready much faster. And see, 40 out of 50. I landed right on it. Now here we have some of these platforms Vertical that we can land on. Death from above. 
So, I try to aim for a different one every time I play the game. They don't know you like I do. And, uh, I usually don't miss. So, here we go. Whee! Alright. Perfect land. And away we go. I got my gold wings. And now what happens? Now everything goes dark. Because I suddenly realized I just jumped out of a plane three times. Alright, here's our briefing. Trevor. Trevor. That's my name. Don't glare it out. Here's our board. Quiet. Our mission is here. Sicily, the village of Adanti. S2 is reporting four enemy AA emplacements positioned throughout the village. The first is located to the west, in a sector hereafter referred to as Hill Houses. The second is located just beyond the northeast gate leading out of the village. The final two are heavily defended, located on the roof of the mayor's residence, recently converted to an enemy command post. This is our most current recon on the drop zone. Red markers indicate the areas of highest enemy concentration. Unless you plan to win this war on your own, I suggest you avoid them at all costs and steer instead for the green smoke flares. We move out in two hours. Dismiss. I can't help noticing that the red areas are much larger than the green area. That doesn't bode well for us. Now, Here's our loadout. I apologize for talking with my mouth full. Um, yeah, everybody's in love with the Thompson. I do like the M1 Garand. It has great accuracy. And the pistol, you have exactly one choice. Well, maybe I'll go with the Colt. But here, you can see all these different things that I can go for. Now, one of the medals that you are supposed to be able to earn is to equip and use all the weapons in the game. Fair warning, these are not all the weapons in the game. There are many, many more. Let me show you something. These are all ones that I have used, but there's also a recoilless rifle, there's the Panzer Shrek, and there's one German pistol that I have never seen. And so, some of these medals seem rather impossible to get. I'll talk a little bit about a little bit more about that in a moment too. Where is the prince who can afford to cover his country with troops for its defense as the 10,000 men descending from the clouds might not do an infinite deal of mischief before a force could be brought together to repel them? Benjamin Franklin, infinite mischief. Wait, he never write infinite mischief. So our own Navy is shooting at us. We have a red light. So, almost time to go. Kaboom! We got at least one guy down there. Green light and, uh, oh yeah, our guide is down there too. Alright. Where's the green? Looks like I'm pretty well headed straight for Well, yeah. We can see those anti aircraft guns on that roof. Okay. Right in the smoke, so I can't see a thing. Enemy triple air tear off our inbound aircraft. Watch this guy. Okay, destroy enemy AA emplacement. Oh. 
Now, where Rainbow Six has the cover system, where you can take cover behind something and shoot around it, here you don't actually take cover. If you are aiming down the barrel like this, you can lean out and take a look. Oh yes, and it takes apparently five headshots to take down these tough German soldiers. Look at these guys running around. This is what I mean about the AI in this game and how Rainbow Six supported. I don't know who shot his helmet off. I don't think it was me. Because my indicator down there in the lower right corner will actually tell me when I have shot a guy in the head. So, I can swap to the MP40, but right at the moment, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to switch my M1. So I can do that. Because in good World War II game fashion, these Germans love their machine guns. Okay. That's one of my guys. Alright, well, good for you. I am behind the car. Okay. That's easy for you to say. Okay, so... Really? Okay, explain to me what I was hitting there with those first few shots. I would really like to know. Yeah, another thing. Of these AIs is yeah. There are going to be times when the Germans are going to run right, literally right in my face. Ha ha! Do you see that? And that was just from my M1. He went flying. Yes, we have disappearing bodies. That is the thing we do in uh, the Medal of Honor games. My health is already full. These guys, it, we deal with drops also because these guys will drop their weapons, they'll drop health, they'll drop ammunition or grenades or whatever. Um, that's the system this game uses. And, you know, it's a valid system. There's nothing wrong with it. It just, um, it is very different from what I've been doing in Rainbow Six. Yeah. Now, this is one thing that I actually prefer in this game over Rainbow Six. You saw me switch weapons there. I did it with the mouse wheel. Um, Rainbow Six doesn't do that. With Rainbow Six... If I want to switch weapons, I have to use a number key. And so... Okay. Oh yes, I was going to go after this one. 
Wow, it could be like another guy is just shooting. Right. Stick that helmet up there again. Thank you. And you can see the little icon down there that shows the helmet in the crosshairs. Indicating that, yeah. Oh, it looks like I got the guy up there on the machine gun because he hasn't been shooting for a while. Okay, we'll go back to the Thompson. And let's go find the rest of these guys. Did he just call me a porco? Whoa! Somebody shot his helmet off. But his head stayed. Yeah. Yeah, we have a limited number of English phrases in our random dialogue. I got the one on the right is one of the more uh, prevalent ones. Yes, they also do that. And they will sneak up behind you. So. He's down. Okay. Yeah, what we have to do is clear this whole place out. And then go up on the roof and take out some anti-aircraft guns. Okay, I got one. Somebody out there got the And then there was this guy. So. These guys, their shooting is funny. Now, that took care of the machine. Yep. As I hoped it would. That was kind of my clever plan. So, all right, where is this guy? I don't know, but AIs are going to go barreling right into his face. That's what they do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these commendations... Oh. Um, will give you will give you better stats for your weapons. So that's a handy thing. And uh, they're not too difficult to get, honestly. This room is already empty. I guess they all ran into the other room so I could shoot them. That was nice of them. So, sometimes these enemies are so accommodating, you know? And here we are on the roof.
Yeah, it's always funny when they go flying like that. to use a wired keyboard for the time being, even though I'm not crazy about them. And basically what is happening is my keyboard wire keeps bumping the connection where the where my speakers plug in. Actually, my soundboard, everything goes through my soundboard in this room. And that's that. Good job, Travis. Only one more AA gun. Come Boy, on. thank you. I know I did a good job, but thank you anyway. This also has something that Rainbow Six doesn't, that I really like, and that is a sprint command. Run like your tail's on fire. And uh, I could really use that sometimes in Rainbow Six Vegas. But, you know, each game has its own way of doing things. So, I will respect that and I'll play the game according to the rules. Because if I don't, I can't play the game at all. Okay, then. Now, Figuring out how to get to this last one has sometimes been an adventure for me. Because this town is a maze. And you don't one thing one thing you seriously lack is a map. It would be nice if the game had one, because a map would be a very handy thing to have to show you where you're going. Boom, dimwit! You saw what I did there. And uh, now, a lot of the time, I will just do this. I'll sit here, wait for one of those guys to grab that MG42, and uh, shoot him. Because, yeah, these guys love their stupid machine guns. So, let's go ahead and... Thanks for that disappointment. Okay, I shot him twice in the head and he walked away. That is a thing that happens in this game. And he was just barely on the edge. I could just barely see his arm past that hole. And one shot put him down. Okay. I just got a better barrel for my M1. 
so I can dig that. A lot of the time it'll take two shots to finish one of these germs. It depends on, I think, on where you hit them. But the biggest problem is the game decides that and it doesn't really matter where your weapon was actually pointing or where you actually saw it hit them. The game will just decide who you hit and how hard. And if you don't like it, well, that's just too bad. Okay, yes. Yeah, like I said. Sit here and wait for them to grab the machine gun because they're crazy about those stupid things. Yeah, and sometimes they'll fall down like that. And sometimes they'll just go flying for no apparent reason. You have to love it. So. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Like that. Yeah. If you believe what you just saw, I, uh, my bullets hoisted him up by his head. So, I have not seen that happen very often in real life. In fact, I haven't seen it happen at all. Partly because I've never actually seen anybody get shot in real life. Like that! You saw me shoot him three times. a good one. Really? Oh yes, if they get too close to you, as with most video games, they'll start hitting you instead of shooting at you. Yes. 
Thank you for running right into my bullets. As I said about headshots. There's a second commendation. There are three levels, and when I hit the next one, I get a uh, grenade launcher attachment. Now, here's the worst part about getting that. Because, honestly, I really have not found it that useful. And I also couldn't figure out how to turn it off. And so what I would end up doing is I would fire off all the grenades that I had for it and then the rifle would switch back to being a rifle. Okay, we just finished that mission. So. Hey, Worth, go tell the CO we got this one. Sir, Sergeant Setzer's requesting reinforcements to ASAP. Christ, we're spread thin as it is. Okay, you and Travers go, I'll hold here. I can't stand Setzer anyway. 